Unlike other encampments, protesters at Rutgers University abided by the university's deadline after reaching an agreement with administrators. Now the question is, was it a useful solution or did it come at a cost? CBS 2's Nick Calloway has a look at both sides. All is quiet on campus as Rutgers students finish up finals. It's a major shift from last week when protesters built up a massive encampment on Voorhees Mall and some exams had to be postponed. Like the word got out, I mean, Rutgers, you know, reacted well. I, I think it all went peacefully. Rutgers President Jonathan Holloway addressed the Board of Governors in a special meeting Monday, just a few days after the protesters agreed to break down the encampment and go home. I am confident in our decisions. They allowed us to maintain a safe and controlled environment. The peaceful resolution is the result of Rutgers leadership agreeing to several of the protesters' demands, including accepting 10 Palestinian students displaced by the war in Gaza and creating an Arab cultural center on campus. The university did not agree to divest from companies with ties to Israel or sever its relationship with Tel Aviv University. Officials say this deal is contingent upon no more disruptions or protests breaking out on campus. The school is facing backlash for negotiating with the protesters. Some lawmakers in Trenton and in Washington say Rutgers leadership caved to the demands. Everyone has the right to protest, but what they did was take over public space and block access to certain demographics of our population, and then they were rewarded by negotiations. Uh, totally unacceptable. Others say more universities should be handling the unrest the way Rutgers did. Irene Mulvey is president of the American Association of University Professors. In my view, that is certainly the way forward. These students should be taken seriously. Somebody, you should listen to them, understand their demands, and see if compromise can be reached. A House Education Committee has asked the president of Rutgers to testify later this month on his handling of the protests. School officials say President Holloway plans to be there. In New Brunswick, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.